So a while back, I picked up this Coast flashlight here, which is an absolutely lovely little light. It's, uh, let's see, was it PX45? So you can see it there. Um, extremely bright. It's kind of got a warm white glow to it. Really nice focusing mechanism on it. It takes three AAA batteries, and it's been serving me well so far. I found this at Big Lots, I think for... Ooh, I don't remember how much it was. I think around twelve dollars. wasn't super cheap, but not bad for a light of that quality. It seems to be really, really nice. But I was there today again, and I found this and this. There's an HL3 um, headlamp and the G26 torch light. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up and see how they are. I'll tell you, I'm not a fan of these blister pack uh, packaging. It's just absolutely horrible to get things open in. But I think I've managed the rather dull utility knife. Let's see if I can get these out of here without damaging the packaging too much. Just in case they don't work. However, I've already tested both of them in the pack, and they both do light up. Seems quite bright. Nice little uh, instruction booklet. Looks like a bunch of marketing crap, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Not really interested in that. What we're here to see is the light, which, huh, a little pivoting mechanism there. That seems a little loose, actually. But it's got kind of like indents in it, or detents. I think that'd be all right. If you, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little on the wiggly side, but it feels sturdy enough. Not up to the normal Coast quality, I've got to say. Seems a little cheap. Um, band seems like it's nice and nice and stretchy. It's got some uh, adjustment points. It's got one on the top and one on the side. That'd be kind of weird because you can only adjust it on one side. Um, so it'll be kind of lopsided if your head's smaller than that. So that would be a little odd, but I'm thinking I may not actually use this as a headlamp. I may take the straps off of it and use it for a uh, bike headlight. So since it is a nice little package, since it was only uh, $8 for this there, um, yeah, it might actually work pretty well as a bike light. So I'm going to give that a shot. Seems like it's... Uh, quite bright. It's kind of hard to tell under the um, LED lighting that I've got here. Let's take a look at the next one, which is actually the one that I'm more excited about. Um, these are both fairly simple lights. They're not anywhere near as fancy as that other one. But yeah, this is more like what I'm used to from Coast. Just a plain old bog standard uh, 2AA light. Wow, that is quite bright. Looks like it just uses standard LEDs there. So yeah, these are um, these are much more basic than a lot of their lights, and doesn't seem to come off there. That unthreads nicely. Got a nice little gasket and a little laser etched symbol on there showing you which way the battery goes in. And looks like a gold-plated spring contact, and it comes with Duracells, which is what I would hope. So. The machining, again, very nice on the threads, as on the cap. Good feeling tail cap switch, too. Let's see if it's on or not. Yes. Off it goes. I do like the little red accents they've got on them. It feels like a pretty sturdy light, however, it, it rattles because <laughs> of those uh, batteries in there. It has a little bit of slop in it, but... That's probably not a horrible thing. Um, if the battery, if you get one that's slightly larger than others, there's just a little bit of play in it, which I'm sure that's probably intentional for that reason. Um, yeah, nice little light, very small. Reminds me of like the little mini mag lights, but I gotta say this is much better than one of those mini mag lights, and it costs a lot less. So, 
yeah, overall these seem pretty nice. Not sure if I'm going to keep the headlight or the headlamp as a headlamp or if I'm going to turn it into a bike headlight. Um, I don't want to cut the straps. If I can somehow take it apart without doing that, I might try it. Looks like it'll just kind of undo from this clip here, and I'll probably be able to feed it around. So, and Actually, now that I think about it, you adjust it here, and this can slide on the band. It just goes around like that. So, yeah, that wouldn't be too bad if it was off-center, because you really only have to adjust it once. It would be a pain, but it's not going to be too bad. Well, I'm going to go uh, test these out, and probably use them for a while, maybe a few weeks or so, and then I'll have a little bit better idea of how they actually work in practice. Alright guys, you all take it easy. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, leave comments in the commenting section below, and let me know what you think. Have a good one.